We are currently investigating a uh, robbery case involving hotels in the Houston area. It seems to be citywide so far. There's been five hotels so far that have been um, victimized. There's going to be three Marriott's, a Frontier Hotel, and a Doubletree Hotel. These all started around December 9th, and they're occurring in the nighttime hours, um, 11 p.m. to about 2 a.m. Uh, it's about four to eight males, not sure of the race at this time. The suspects are concealing their faces with either t-shirts or something where we can't see them. And they are wearing uh, gloves, um, hoodies. When they come in, they're going straight for the ATM machine. They either dismantle it, remove it, and carry it outside the location. Uh, we do not have um, a whole lot of details at this point. Um, other than there's about five, I think a couple of cases there were five males and then a couple of other cases there were a total of eight. Um, so far they've just done verbal threats. Uh, one of the cases they did display a machete in their waistband. Um, they didn't pull it out though. And so far the complainants have cooperated with them. No one's been hurt and um, we would just like some, uh, anyone with information out there that has knows who these suspects are, um, has seen ATM machines where they shouldn't be, um, or um, has any information on this to call the robbery division um, or Crime Stoppers. These ATMs, they were basically, uh, were they at, uh, all eight of them at the same place, same time, or kind of like in different three, sometimes here, maybe five here, one night, two here, one night? Um, they are all on different nights. So starting December 9th, then there was one on December 11th, one on December 12th, one on December 13th, and now one on December 14th. Um, assuming it's already going on with the hypothesis, the same people? Um, based on the way they're coming in, the way they're dressed, it, it appears um, not, we don't have video from all the locations just yet, um, but based on the descriptions, yes, it does appear to be the same suspects. You think they've done some, maybe some advanced work? Because correct me if I'm wrong, but in the cases that we've seen, they seem to go after ATMs that are like not bolted down or, or installed into walls or out covers. Yeah, that's correct. So you think they've done some, some surveillance to see which ATMs are easy to just kind of pick up and carry away? I would imagine because when they're coming in, they're going straight to the ATM machine. So you gave four, there have been five ATMs total? Yes, sir. The earliest, December 9th. Can uh -huh. you do the dates? One uh -huh. time, one yeah, time. December 9th. That's going to be the Doubletree Hotel. December 11th, the Frontier Hotel. December 12th, Marriott Hotel. December 13th, Marriott Hotel. And December 14th, Marriott Hotel. Oh, so the 11th was Frontier, you said? I'm yes. Hey, do you have any addresses of all five? Because we have the, I think we knew about the three Marriotts. I do have addresses. Um, I can give that to y'all when we're done. Okay. okay. Do you guys have reason to believe it's only hotels that they're targeting? At this point, yes. Any uh, indication, I think in one of the cases when we spoke to Lieutenant Croson out at uh, one of the scenes, they left in a SUV that I think was stolen. Have you got any other vehicle descriptions? Or? Um, yeah, it did. They said a silver SUV, but um, we have no plate or anything. I, I have no information knowing whether it was stolen or not at this point. Any indication that they're hitting at this time because less traffic, less, I guess, possible resistance? I, I would say less people, yeah, and less witnesses around. Um, and yes, definitely to leave the location unseen by less traffic. Do they typically just park in front and run in? Or? Yes. Is there any specific reason that you guys believe they're targeting hotels? Um, I, I don't have, you know, any information indicating that, but, um, you know, these the ATM machines have been targeted within the last year. Uh, they know there's money and easy cat, fast cash in there, so they're, um, hitting these, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why they're, they're striking the hotels. Potentially because hotels they have, maybe have a little bit more time to stop them out, or they? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it's only, it's only ATMs that are not bolted down or like recessed in the walls or anything. On all five of these cases, the ATM machines were not bolted down. Um, have you found any machines? No, we have not. Okay, so they just take the whole thing. So they don't even bother with trying to crack into it there. They just pick it up and. That's correct. Okay. Any idea how much cash is that? No, we're working with the, the um, because that's going to be a, another owner. The, the hotels don't own the ATM machines, so we're working with those businesses to try to figure out how much cash was in there. We do not know at this time. Different owners for all the ATMs? Or? Yes. Okay. Thanks a little bit of the, I guess, principle, especially for last night's uh, uh, robbery. With all 
only two entra two two main ways to get out of the airport. Um, was how, how quick are you guys notified usually after something like this happens? Where I mean, that, it seems like they could have been trapped, especially with at that airport Marriott. Yeah, um, well, and as soon as the suspects, because they, they said do not do anything, do not call police, as soon as the suspects left, the complainants did notify officers, and the officers responded within a few minutes. Um, the, I mean, they're, as the officers are probably arriving there, I'm, I'm not real familiar with that hotel and how to get in there, but um, the officers did set up in the area and look for that vehicle description of the silver SUV, but did not locate it. Was it airport police that stationed at the airport that responded, do you know? Uh, no, they were um, actually patrol officers that worked in that area. How fast are they working? Is it a, something that takes two minutes? Or? Uh, yeah, uh, I would say two to three minutes. They're in and out. Does anybody ever stop at the front desk to say don't call police or anything, or does just the whole group just keep yelling and yell, yell at whomever? Uh, on one or two of them, they just went straight to it and left. And then a couple others, they said, don't do anything um, and, or you'll go home tonight. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then another on one of the other scenes, the guy displayed a machete, um, which was basically saying, do not do anything until we're gone, you know, or <laughs> don't do anything at all. Obviously, tension is at some of hotels that we, or ones that have to get, probably have to be a little high right now. Um, do you have a message to any hotel workers about what to do or not? Yeah, and on any robbery, I always say the same thing. Just be a really good witness. Um, cooperate. Don't do anything that would cause you to get hurt. Um, nine times out of ten, that's when we see complainants get injured. So cooperate with what their instructions are. Um, try to remember some specifics that you can about the suspect, whether you see a tattoo or piercing, um, a race of the suspect, height, age, anything that you can pick out um, in a safe manner or do so. And then if they're able to um, get a vehicle description, please report that to police. And then also the hotels, if they can get us the video surveillance as quickly as possible so that we can do our investigation. How effective is this covering the face method? Um, it's effective, but um, we have been successful in the past in developing suspects, even though their face is concealed and, um, and charging them inevitably. Um, the video surveillance today is really good and suspects, um, I don't know uh, the correct answer for this, but um, we're, we're able to inevitably, based on, uh, we have some really good investigators that can um, develop leads and get the suspects charged inevitably. It's usually not their first time doing this, so they've been in the justice system before that you can also track down some of these individuals. I have seen that, yes. Okay. And the most recent robbery has been the one where a machete was displayed, is that correct? That is the correct. other ones, there have been no sign. So that was the reason one at the Marriott? That was the one last okay. night, or this morning, um, at 1.15 a.m. that the machete was seen. And I want to be clear, there, is there a specific vehicle you guys are looking for? At this point, no. Um, we've had a couple of different discrepancies, so I don't want to say I'm specifically looking for this kind of vehicle. Um, just like the question was posed, just be on, I would advise the hotels to be on high alert. You know, if anyone in, in other areas of Houston, if they see suspects carrying an ATM machine, that would be abnormal. And so to please contact us or Crime Stoppers, because um, they may switch cars, they may move the ATM to another car to get home and move it out. So I don't uh, have a specific vehicle at this time. Does this also, oh, I'm sorry. Well, does this warrant additional patrol by the Houston Police Department as being a fit hotel? Um, well, we'll we are definitely on high alert for that same um, scenario of looking for suspects with an ATM machine, um, keeping an eye out, driving by the hotels on a more regular basis. Yes. I'm sorry. When I asked about the, I'm sorry. The, when I asked at the uh, the time of night, and we talked about less traffic in the hotel, but does that also apply to less traffic on the road, so less people to see potentially see them leaving or going wherever they're going? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I know you said that all the warnings have been verbal with the exception of machete. Is there any indication that they can carry any of the weaponry on them? Mm -hmm. uh, no indication at this time. They haven't shown any other weapon or displayed any other weapon. And do these ATMs, do they have any kind of anything in them that would make them easier to track that would have to be disassembled after they're taken? At this time, we have nothing to track them. Any idea how much cash is in those things? That's a good time. I have no idea. Um, I, I would even, I'd be lying if I told you an amount. 
because we we don't know how much withdrawal was made from them and so they're also gambling I think when they take an ATM machine because they don't know the value of it or what's inside in the past a lot of suspects dismantled the machine right there uh, but that takes a lot of time so I think these guys are just betting on there being something in there uh, have you gotten an indication as to when the owners of these individual machines I guess do their daily clean out I do not know that well, I they are, yeah but, you know, do they do it so you don't know if it's every other day I do not know okay. is this something new has this happened before in, in the city or no, yeah this is yeah definitely this has gone on in the past and uh, it's just the the flavor of the crime right now for them um, they are, see I guess they can target these hotels in the middle of the night where there is low visibility and um, I think why you all are here right now is because they've happened there's been five of them in a few short days so our job right now we want to put a stop to it and luckily you're here and we can put this out on the media and with hopefully someone calling in and getting some information to us and stopping them concern as long as you're out there the higher the higher the chances that there will be violence at some point and I know you can so it's a robbery by definition it's violent but the fact that somebody may actually I think on any of these where they're already threatening verbally that if a, a complainant or witness were to try to stop them, it could could turn violent. So that's why my instruction always is just be a real good witness and cooperate. Have you guys been looking at hotel guest lists or anything and trying to track down these? Uh, we have not looked at hotel guests. As far as we can tell, the, the staff has cooperated with us. They did not appear to be guests there based on what the um, hotel managers have said. Nope, it's been all over, been uh, as far as West Loop, um, down to the Southwest Freeway, and up to the Intercontinental Airport. Thank you. Have there been any other uh, these types of crimes in the immediate area that are on the HPV's coverage that you think might be related? Uh, we, have, we have actually been contacted other local county agencies, and we haven't seen any other cases like it. In all cases, are they just going through the front door, or... Are side doors, or how are they doing it? They're going straight in the front door and then out the front door. So, so the, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. The ATM is going out the front door. That's correct. Do you, so you do or you don't have surveillance video of the getaway vehicle? We do not at this time. Um, I'm, we're still working on collecting video. So uh, as far as we know right now, there is no video on the exterior. Is there any increase of this crime during the holidays? Hmm. I think during the holidays, um, some thefts and some of these robberies do increase a little bit uh, just because of the time of the season. Uh, but uh, this is ongoing for us. Like I said, we've dealt with some of these ATM crimes in this past year already. So to say it's increased, no, not really, but I'm not surprised for the time of year it is. Not to give them any more credit, but they seem to be at least fairly organized. I mean, like you said, they go straight to the ATM. There's no looking around or, or wandering. I mean, they know exactly where it is. They go and they immediately leave. And they don't take too much time. Yeah, and, and what's unique about this group right here uh, is that there are numerous of them. So I think um, with with more of them, they feel a little bolder. And so, uh, yes, in that fashion, they're more organized. But um, we are definitely hoping to apprehend them as soon as possible. I thought maybe the number of pieces of weight would be more people to carry it. Probably so, yeah, because uh, on the picture I show here is this all suspects are carrying out that ATM machine. So you don't have like somebody doing a lookout or anything or standing by the desk area? Everybody's going for the ATM? Everyone's going in for the ATM. Typically, how long are these? from getting out of the car to disappearing, how long are they taking? And you mentioned that there are, you guys haven't been able to see getaway people. Is that because of blind spots on the cameras or because they're just, that they, they know where the cameras are? Uh, the suspects seem to be in and out within two to three minutes. And the camera footage on the exterior, it is nighttime. And so I'm not exactly sure yet uh, where they are parking and why we're not picking up on that camera footage. So um, one of the hotels did not have any camera footage. They had installed, they're installing cameras at this time. So that's another problem. And then getting, we're still working on getting some of this camera footage, so we may develop that, um, some, some vehicles um, in the near future. Is 
Uh, yes, I'm Lieutenant Kathy Richards, and I work uh, over the Violent Offender Squad and the Robbery Division. Yes. Okay. Um, December 9th is going to be 15747. 15747. December 9th. December 9th. JFK Boulevard. December 11th is going to be 11230 Southwest Freeway. December 12th is going to be 1750 West Loop South. December 13th is 9975 West Timer. December 14th is, a, is 18700 JFK Boulevard. Uh, 18700 JFK Boulevard. And those pictures are from the frontier end. We'll be getting those. Is there any other surveillance? I know you said the surveillance from last night was good. Is that, are we going to get that? That's too? all we have. Right this is what we have right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. So once we're wrapped up here, I'll send it all to your desk. Okay. Yeah. And when we catch them, I'd love to see y'all again. Yeah. And I'll give you some pictures. Nice to <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.